Hey everybody, Jason here with GDT Basics. Again on the video question line, uh, and today's topic is inner and outer diameter as datum features. Today's question is for hollow cylindrical parts with both an OD and an ID, that being outer diameter and an inner diameter, would there be a preference as to which one should be called out as a datum? Note the mating parts slide on both the OD and the ID. So that's a pretty common design uh, scenario. We have a lot of times collars that go onto shafts and then something goes around the outside of that collar as well. So both the ID and the OD are mating features. And if you've taken any of our courses, you know that we suggest when selecting datums, uh, those datums come from datum features and those features should be features on the part that mate with other parts in the final assembly. Uh, datums should mimic the functional intent of the part. Uh, if you pick the datums correctly, we are essentially setting up a mock inspection that mimics the final assembly. And that directly comes from picking features that are functional features for the part. So let's take a look at this part we have here. So we have two scenarios here. Uh, the left one showing the outside diameter as the datum feature and the inside diameter being located coaxially to the datum axis created by the outside diameter. On the right view, we have the opposite. We have the inside diameter being identified as our datum feature and the outside diameter being controlled in position coaxially to our datum axis, which is the center of this outside diameter. So both scenarios uh, are, go are good places to start and not one is incorrect over the other one. Um, you can certainly do both of these uh, and I'll show you why that is. So let's say, for instance, this is our part as we we're talking about kind of a collar with a keyway. Uh, obviously, we'll have some sort of shaft or this light gray part here with a keyway uh, interfacing with the inside diameter. And then we press fit this sort of gear. Maybe this is a different material that gets press fit over the top of this, right, or welded to it, whatever you want to look at. Um, but we know that the, uh, the outside surface mates with the part and the inside surface mates with a different part. So both could be used as functional datum features. So which one would you select? Uh, it wouldn't necessarily matter which one you do select first. For instance, let's take a look at what happens if we pick the outside diameter as our datum feature. So our datum feature here being identified by these black lines, this is our datum feature. It creates this black axis as our datum's axis. So now we center our tolerance zone for the inside diameter on that datum axis. And now we know if that inside diameter shifts in position at all, we know that it can only deviate as much as we say here in the feature control frame diametrically. So we know the diametric coaxial error, if you will, from the datum axis created by this outside diameter when we're talking about the inside diameter of our collar. And likely at the end of the day, what we are truly concerned with is the coaxial air between this shaft, the shaft that's likely rotating on, and the outside surface of this gear, whether that's profile of surface or run out, we can do a tolerance stack up through the datums of this shaft into this collar and from this collar into the ID of this gear out to the run out or profile of surface of this gear. So we can use these datum structures to calculate and the values here to calculate the maximum amount of coaxial air amongst these three features. So this is a good design. We can follow that design out and see our worst case scenarios. But what if we shift a little bit and show the position air uh, in relation to the outside diameter and call our inside diameter our datum feature? So again, we see our datum feature now is the ID identified by these black lines and this black axis, the black axis being our datum, uh, these black lines out here being identifying the datum feature, but we get a datum axis down the center of this part still. And we see that now we're controlling the position of the outside diameter with respect to the inside diameter. Now, if the outside diameter shifts in location with respect to the inside diameter, we still see that we can calculate the amount of coaxial air between the ID and the OD, and thus we can calculate the coaxial air between the OD and this shaft. And even more directly, we can calculate the coaxial air or runout air 
of the teeth back to the inside diameter of the gear, which is also going to mate with the feature we're controlling position. And we can stack up the position error and the runout error back to this datum of the blue gear in order to understand the coaxial error of this shaft with respect to the outside of this entire assembly. So again, with this setup, we can still see that we have enough information to understand the worst case stack up in our assembly, regardless of which feature we use in this scenario, internal or external diameters as a datum. So to round it out, it doesn't matter necessarily which one you pick, internal or external diameters. Uh, one thing to note though, is depending on your inspection department, what tools they might have at their disposal uh, in order to simulate the datum. Oftentimes simulating uh, an external datum is a lot easier than trying to simulate an internal datum. So keep that in mind as a designer, if you can help out your uh, inspection department by picking the datums that are easy to simulate, uh, certainly do that. Once again, thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next video question line. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd and and print reading quizzes download helpful charts, and access articles written by training experts.